Dobbs here tomorrow night, though there's no Prime Minister's questions because Tony Blair is off to meet, yes, Bill Clinton in Northern Ireland. Told you that everything revolves around the American president, even our own dear Prime Minister's questions. I'm off for a few weeks now. It is Christmas, you know. I'll be back in January. Until then, a very Merry Christmas to all of you and a Happy New Year. Good night. It's fine. Christmas Crackers on BBC One. I really don't think they flew 90 billion light years to come down here and start a fight. They're using our own satellites against us. Clock's ticking and so's the bomb. I'm not going without you. We've got to stop them! If the world does go on, it might not go on for everyone. Oxford, go ahead! That's what I call a close encounter. The water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. Time's up. When all else fails, Fresh tactics. Welcome to Earth. This is so cool. Enjoy the season of goodwill with the very best films this Christmas on BBC One. You're watching BBC Learning Zone. Hello and welcome to our programmes for tonight. In the OU in a moment, in the last programme of the series, Bethany Hughes explores the records of Britain's scarcest and most disputed resource, land. Then at two, Sophie Connolly gets ready to audition for Grange Hill and Holby City. But can the family cope with the added pressure? Find out at two in the parenting zone. You can learn enough Italian to do business in Italy at four, and in part one of the two-part series, you can concentrate on talking to customers over the phone and business entertaining. Practical tips and advice are on offer at five for those running or managing small health and social care businesses in the working in health and care zone, then we return to the OU at six with a study of a great work of protest and a masterpiece of modern art, Picasso's Genica. It's all here on BBC Learning Zone. From up here, it's hard to imagine a more serene picture, but the land that we occupy has always aroused fierce passions. Land might not be the prized commodity it once was, but wars are still fought over it, and we get very hot under the collar about our right to roam or the sighting of a new bypass.